Hey folks, it's Colin with Platinum Copier Solutions, back with another how-to for you today. I'm going to show you how to print password or pen protected documents, also known as confidential printing, on your Sharp Copier. So the first step I like to tell everyone to do is on the copier, the default is to store the jobs after they've been printed, and I like to have it delete by default. So what we do here is go to the copier, tap Settings, tap the Admin Login button, and log in as administrator. Click login. And then go to document filing settings. And that's on the system settings tab here. Document filing. And then scroll down until you see this right here. Setting of store slash delete after file print. Go ahead and put that on delete. And then click submit. And this is only something you'll need to do once before you get started with confidential printing. Next, let's go ahead and pull up a document we want to print. Go to File, Print. Make sure your uh, Sharp is selected here, the one that you're trying to print to. And then click Printer Properties. Move over to the Job Handling tab. And put the document filing drop down on Hold Only. Now you can send it just like this and the machine will hold it and release it without a password, but if you want to lock it down with a personal identification number, you can do that here. So just give it a five digit number, click OK, and then click Print. So that will send to your copier, but it won't shoot it out until you go over there to release it. So how you release it is from the touch screen, you're looking for a button. If you're a Platinum Copiers or a Skeleton Legacy customer, you'll see this document filing button here. Um, other dealers may have this listed as file retrieve, but it essentially goes to the same place. So tap that button and then tap the main folder button. And you'll see the job waiting to be printed here. So you can select that job and it's going to ask you for the pin. So enter the pin that you provided, tap OK. And now you can see we can either print this uh, we can check whether or not we want it to delete after we print it. This is that default setting that we changed here. If you just need a regular old single-sided color print, go ahead and click Print Now. If you need to change anything about it before you send the print, choose Print Settings here. You can tell it how many copies you want. Say I want 25 of that, and I want them two-sided, and I want it to stay full. I can select all that stuff here and then tap Start. And that'll print my confidential print while I'm standing there in front of the machine so no one else can get their eyes on it. So I hope this was helpful for you today. Um, please leave us a comment if you have any questions. Be sure and subscribe to the channel for more how-tos. Thank you so much.